Hi guys, it's me Toby Tomudering, and in this video, I'm going to show you a speed paint of my pin otaku life. Toby Tomudering! So if you guys have been watching my recent videos, you'll know that I started a Kickstarter to make several designs for enamel pins. And we got funded, so I'm super happy about that, and the pins are in production. So I figured you guys might enjoy watching some behind the scenes of how I make the pins. Uh, it starts off with a sketch, and I sketched all of these on some really ugly paper, and they're really, really rough sketches. Um, but basically, I do all of my designs in Illustrator, so I take it to Illustrator, I get the sketch, I scale it to the size that I want it to be, the finished product, and the really nice thing about uh, Illustrator is that you can scale your drawing up and down. So say you didn't know exactly what size you needed to be, you can actually scale it up without losing any quality, like it won't be blurry or anything. And that's really nice because in Photoshop, if you put a size, that's the size it's going to be. You can scale it down and it's okay, but if you scale it up, oh my gosh, it is so blurry. And then I'll just start um, using the pen tool and I'll start um, tracing out my sketch. Um, I'll usually modify a th few things here and there. Um, I don't usually stay exactly exactly to how the sketch was. Sometimes I'll decide in Illustrator that this looks better this way and so on. And once you put the points down, you can modify whatever you like. Like say you decide, oh, you know what? That's not curvy enough. You just adjust it. And I really do like that about Illustrator. It's like nothing is set in stone and it's very easy to um, maneuver around. I, I quite like it. At the beginning, I didn't really like Illustrator. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. It's very different from Photoshop. The pen tool is really easy on Photoshop and this one's really hard. But the nice thing about this is that um, it's actually quite nice after you get used to it. So the thing about enamel pins is that you have a set amount of colors, depending on your manufacturer, that you can go with. And the more you add, the more the cost is. And so I wanted to keep every pin around the same cost so I can charge the same price. So my Otaku Life pin and my Sakura pin uh, cost a little bit more than the other ones because they use more colors. Um, but I figured it was okay. It was only a minimal difference. Um, I only added like one or two colors each pin. So that was okay, but I wanted to keep the colors to a minimum and there were certain things that I wanted for sure that I wouldn't budge on. Like uh, the Pocky sticks that are in her hair, I could have saved on colors by going with uh, strawberry Pocky, but I really wanted chocolate Pocky to offset from her pink hair. So that's why I did those kind of things. So I had to make adjustments. I really wanted a red scarf, but I ended up going with a blue scarf so I could have a blue Totoro and kind of like everything kind of mixed in together. So because I was on those restraints for colors, um, I couldn't exactly go for exactly the color I wanted. Another thing is that I couldn't find the exact purple that I wanted. I wanted like this beautiful pastel lilac um, and I had a hard time finding that on my my Pantone color chart and the thing is that your computer kind of shows a little bit different than in real life and I don't have that uh, Pantone solid color chart thingy. I'm gonna invest in one for sure but um, this was kind of an on the fly thing. I didn't know I was gonna start a Kickstarter for the pins. I kind of just like you know what let's just do it and I got really excited and uh, it ended up working out because it got funded uh, but definitely I wasn't the most prepared for actually getting funded. I didn't think it was going to happen. I was just like, you know, I'm just going to put myself out there. I'm going to try it and see the feedback. Did people like it? I, I didn't know if anyone would like it. And I'm really happy that people like my pin designs. And um, it, it's made me very happy indeed. Uh, and I definitely want to make more. I want the colors to come out exactly as I, I see them. So I'm definitely going to get one of those uh, charts. But at the time, I didn't want to take the chance and get a purple. And it didn't look anything like what I wanted. Um, because you have a million different shades for pink. So one of the shades are definitely going to be one of the shades that are closer to what I want. But the purple, there was very few that were like this beautiful lilac color. And even then it kind of looked like muted. And I wasn't sure what was it going to come out like. So I just definitely decided not to go with the purple. I might later on in the future do a alternate color variations. Uh, where they have different hair colors and different scarf colors. At this time it's just going to be my original design color. Um... But I kind of liked how everything turned out. Um, I might in the future want to try glitter variants too. I'm very picky about glitter. Like I've noticed that um, a lot of pin designs, the idea and concept is very cute. But the execution from the manufacturer can differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. And especially the color of glitter that they're using. So I definitely want it to look really good. And I want to get samples from my manufacturer before I decide to do that. Because I noticed that some manufacturers, oh my gosh, the color is gorgeous and the glitter is just 
spot on. And then some manufacturers, maybe it's the color choice also, it just doesn't look good at all and it doesn't look pretty enough. And uh, yeah, I'm very picky about that. So I can't decide on that. And um, maybe later on, maybe it's some glow in the dark variants. But at this point, I'm definitely sticking with just solid colors because they always look pretty good. And um, I'm very picky. I like thicker lines. I think my next few designs, I'm gonna have maybe thicker lines. I was actually playing around with how thick the lines can be because I love thick gold lines for the um, for the pins. I think they look really cute. I think it's a, in my opinion, really nice aesthetic. I don't like thin lines. I don't like pin designs that have really thin lines. I don't think they look as good. I like to see that gold shimmer. I think it just really adds to the enamel pin. And um, I wanted my pins to have a really thick line, but I was also worried that they wouldn't come out good. Like, um, because the manufacturers tell you that you should have a certain gap between your lines. I know I'm not explaining myself very well, but basically there will be bubbles or more complications to try and fill in the color. And I didn't want any complications really for my first pin designs. So I definitely went and played it safe and put thinner lines. But in the future, I definitely want to get um, samples of my pins and get try and do thicker lines and see how that looks. I'm not really sure how far into the future it will be before I make my new pin designs, but I am shooting for some Valentine's Day designs. Um, nothing too Valentine's Day because I want them to be able to wear them all year round, but definitely something cute that if you bought it during Valentine's Day, that'd make a really good gift. But yeah, I might start a Kickstarter for that one as well. I'm not too sure. Uh, so yeah. I mean, I'm really happy with how this design came out. I'm actually really, really happy. So that was the finished pin, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have other videos of my other pin designs being turned from sketch to a finished design. And I'll also have videos for the holographic prints from sketch to the finished design. I hope you guys enjoy and have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to see my newest videos. Until next time, see you guys later!